Okay, so to begin, let's duplicate our layers so that if we mess up, we can always just delete the copy layer and start over. To do this, make sure your layer is selected and use the Ctrl J keyboard shortcut. Next, let's go over to the toolbar and select the Clone Stamp tool. The Clone Stamp tool allows us to take samples from one part of an image and apply them to another. Before we get started using the tool, click on the Brush Options drop down and make sure the hardness is set to 0%. We want our samples to blend in with the original image and having too much hardness would mess that up. You also might want to change the size of your brush, but I'm okay with what mine is set at. Once you have your brush set up, hold down the Alt key and select an area near one of the bags and then click to sample it. Now simply click on the bag without holding down the Alt key to paint over it. Repeat this process until you are satisfied with the results. I recommend using this clicking method rather than holding down to paint because the more samples you have, the more realistic your image will look and viewers won't be able to tell you sampled other parts of the image. Alright, and that's all there is to it. You now know how to remove bags in Photoshop.